Good day YouTube, Warbles not a lot here. And I want to talk about garbage and recycling. Now I don't think it's any secret that I live a fair way out from town, like 15 kilometres out from town. And therefore I don't actually pay any garbage services on my rates because the council does not collect my garbage. They don't collect my garbage, but 35 kilometres away by road in that direction, eight hours per week, they open the doors of the deep water dump. So for decades, when my 200 litre garbage bin is full with kitchen refuse, mainly plastics, and when the 200 litre drum or 44 gallon drum is full with beer bottles, and it takes about six weeks to fill a 44 gallon drum with empty beer bottles, that's about when I would roll the 44 gallon drum, which used to be full of pretty much only beer bottles and glass, onto the back of my box trailer. And after putting the tow ball onto the tow hook, I would drive my garbage to the dump. 70 kilometres round trip. And when it's towing the trailer, this whole thing of mine probably gets about 10 kilometres to the litre. So we're going to say 7 litres of fuel. But the thing is, a single man living alone in the forest can actually fill a 200 litre drum with empty beer bottles a lot faster than he can fill a 200 litre garbage tin with kitchen refuse. Of course, at the moment, my 200 litre garbage tin is uh, overly occupied with empty spray cans, a relic of my project to fill the air boom on the Chinese inflatable swimming pool with expandable foam in order to prevent it from ever thinking about leaking again. So under normal circumstances, it would take me about three months to fill this 200 litre bin. And here again, the calculation is somewhat askew because normally the milk cartons and the plastic bottles of soft drink, they would all be squashed flat and they would be going into the garbage bin. Whereas now, they're in with the beer bottles. Why would that be so, do I hear you ask? Well, here's the thing. As of the 1st of December, there has been a reverse vending machine in Glen Innes, in the car park at Woolworths. And it has been possible to take beer bottles, milk cartons, plastic bottles, cans, to the reverse vending machine and get 10 cents each. So there's been a little bit of um, discussion about this in the local newspaper. There have been three articles in the local newspaper. I can only come up with two of them, but you know, here we have give a bottle, get cash back, which outlines the way the scheme was going to work a week before the whole thing started. On the paper closest to the 1st of December, there was another article saying that people were showing up with trailer loads, multiple 200 litre drums full of aluminium cans. And then a week after it had opened, we had a third article, The Economics of Garbage. Again, by Steve Evans, the senior journalist at Glen Innes. The machine in the Woolworths car park is a bit of an economic engineering. It's designed to make us change our habits by altering the costs and benefits of doing something. If you were about to throw a can out the car window, you might hesitate with the thought of 10 cents in your mind. Or if you were about to put the bottle in the yellow lid bin in the back of the house, you might think, maybe not, I'll go to Woolworths instead. And if you were going to Coles but had bottles, you might divert to Woolworths, bracket, which does not pay or get paid for allowing the facility on its property. So there are a whole heap of economic calculations with consequences. For example, Glen Industries currently sorts the recycled material in Glen Innes. It is collected by a contractor 
for the council and delivered to their depot. They then sell the sorted material. If the reverse vending machine diverts bottles from Glen Industries, then Glen Industries' income might be hit. If, on the other hand, it merely means more bottles and cans are recycled, then it's a gain for everyone. In the past, Glen Industries manager Kylie Hawkins has voiced unhappiness about the way some people and businesses discard all kinds of useless waste in recycling bins. She was not able, available for comment on the impact of the new scheme at the time of writing. At Woolworths, one recycler had driven his truck from Emmerville, packed with hundreds of cans and bottles. He clearly got more money back than the cost of the petrol. But driving only, say, a kilometre with a few cans wouldn't cover the petrol and it would burn more CO2 than gets saved in the recycling. The economics of garbage, eh? So maybe I'm pretty much a good case study, a, a pointer to the economics involved for the edumacation of Steve Evans. You see, it goes like this. If you only put beer bottles in the 44 gallon drum, then once every six weeks, when you've got 10 cartons worth of beer bottles in the 44 gallon drum, then you get to go to the dump. And that's gonna cost you $10 worth of petrol. At the same time, you can cart away about half a garbage bin full of household groceries. Cost of the drinker, $40 a year in petrol to take the garbage to the dump. Below that, math arm scratch your head Maddox, $80 a year to take the garbage to the dump every six weeks whenever the 44 gallon drum fills up. However, if you hang on to your cartons, and if you've got somewhere to store cartons full of empty beer bottles, you can actually get 10 cartons in the 44 gallon drum and another eight cartons in the back of the car. So then you can go to the dump every three months or four times a year, therefore the $40 a year for petrol. Because at the moment, it's about $1.50 a litre. However, if you can get 10 cents for a milk carton, why crush it and take it to the dump? If you can get 10 cents for a PET bottle, why crush it and take it to the dump? Can't do much about the cordial bottles because they get classified the same as wine bottles or spirits bottles and because people drink them at home and they don't throw them on the side of the road, therefore they won't pay you to recycle them. Strange, isn't it? They won't pay you to recycle your tomato sauce bottles either or your Worcestershire sauce bottles. Obi-Wan Kenobi, so in your, your drinking history, if you're a single person living in the forest and drinking entirely too much beer, you could find that in three weeks you've got four cartons with 24 stubbies to the carton at 10 cents each. So that's $2.40 per carton. So you've pretty much got enough beer bottles to pay for the fuel to take a load of rubbish to the dump, but you don't need to go to the dump every three weeks. You don't even really need to go to the dump every three months now because you've got the extra space in the garbage bin that's been saved by all of the PET bottles and all of the milk cartons that are now going to the recycling. And the recycling machine, the reverse vending machine, it's in town. I go to town three times a week. I personally buy my booze at the Woolworths bottle shop. So it's entirely possible for me to take empty beer bottles into the Woolies car park, turn them into money and then go over to the bottle shop and come home with more beer. I mean, I'm not joking. These four cartons are worth $9.60. One of these long necks only pays 10 cents when you recycle it but they're about $8 each. So this represents pretty much enough fuel money to go to the dump every three weeks. But because of the recycling machine, so what it boils down to is that instead of going to the dump every three months and having to pay to go there, I can now go to the dump every four months purely to get rid of my household garbage and the whole lot is going to be paid for by the recycled beer bottles and whatever I get from the milk cartons and the PET bottles 
that's kind of like cream because by hanging on to the bottles and uh, taking them to the recycling machine myself rather than hanging on to the bottles and taking them to the dump when I got no more storage space I can actually make sort of four times the price of the fuel money involved in taking it all to the dump so to me even if I wasn't a greenie it would seem like a really good deal so I reckon with all of this loaded into the car for a bit of variety I should probably put me bootsies on and uh, we can go into town and we'll see what happens now as you saw my maths aren't great but the way I look at it if you live in town you can't be any more than about two kilometers two and a half at the most away from the reverse vending machine so your overall trip is going to be five kilometers so that's about a half a litre which is 75 cents so if you're going to drink one soft drink can per day and you live anywhere in Glen Innes and you can hang on to them and make a trip once every eight days then you'll get as much money from the reverse vending machine as it costs you for the fuel to make that journey and that is assuming that your car is no more fuel efficient than my old thing so let's see what happens when we get to town okay so here we are in Woolworth car park here's what it says looks like the milk containers may not go but the beer bottles will here's what the machine looks like Okay, so soft drink bottles works well. Right, so that won't go. And that won't go either. And when it gets stuck, pull it out. Okay. Wrong one. That went. That went. That went. Punch that. And you get a voucher. Or in fact, two. Let's try these in the correct hole. Still doesn't go. Okay, let's see how we get on with the beer. Two bottles, 20 cents. It has to be able to see the label. Okay. There we go. Nine dollars eighty. So that little transaction amounted to ten dollars and twenty cents okay so I'm going to redeem these thank you very much so here we have so here we go Thank you very much. I even get change. Always one of my subscribers.
so Warbles on like the YouTube. There's the story of recycling and reverse vending machines. Ciao.